Therefore, there's no substitute for purpose. What I'm saying is so important. This is more important than anything that you can hear right now. Because there's so many people who are lost, frustrated, and saved. There is no substitute for purpose. I was thinking of an example, and there's so many of them. Have you ever seen a manufacturer who began to build something, and because it didn't become what he intended, he made it something else? You don't see that. You don't. Check it. They don't stop until they get what they purposed. Hmm. There's no substitute for purpose. You cannot make a car a boat. You can't decide, I'm tired driving this car, I'm going to drive it into the water now, make it a boat. You just can't do that. <laughs> you can't substitute the purpose for the product. You cannot make a microphone a cooking spoon. I mean, you could, but it'll be microphone abuse. <laughs> you may laugh, but it's true about your life. If you are becoming something, or can I say, trying to become something that you are not, you are abusing who you are. There's no substitute for purpose. There is no satisfaction beside purpose. Purpose and only purpose will satisfy. Purpose therefore will haunt you. That's why God uses the word prevail. He says no matter what you plan, whether it's big, good, fantastic, evil, bad or excellent, if it's not my purpose for your life, God says, my purpose will prevail over that plan. That word prevail means it will haunt you. If you did everything everybody wanted you to do, but not what you were born to do, then what you were born to do will haunt what you did. You got to understand God's word here. He says, my purpose will override, overrule all of your plans. No matter how good they are, no matter how big they are, purpose will frustrate your success. You know people, maybe you are one of them. I mean, you know everyone thinks you're doing well. But when you close the door at night and cut the light off, it's hell in the bed. You cry, you weep, you are mad because you don't feel fulfilled. And then when you go on stage, everybody claps. But in secret, you are depressed. They think you are the best corporate executive in the whole company. But deep inside, you really want to go preach. <laughs> deep inside, you really want to go paint pictures. Deep inside, you want to do photography. You don't want to sit at no desk. Whatever your gift is, whatever your purpose is, it will make you frustrated. It will prevail over all of your success. Why? Because purpose itself will overrule your accomplishments. Purpose will overshadow all your work. Purpose will depress your impressions and no matter where you go what you do it haunts you it prevails it overpowers you try to drown it in busyness but it's too strong 
You try to bury it in your preoccupation. But it is your occupation. That's why <laughs> until you find your destiny, all you have is a job. Tomorrow we will learn that your destiny is not a job. Your destiny is your work. Your job is what you do until you find your destiny.